discussed and debated literature in all of its forms. And if it's written it. work, it's game. And yes, I did just steal his line. I'm a thief. I apologize for arresting Charles. Yeah. Right. You did a good job uh, remembering uh, the uh, the opening. If I had the cuffs, I would. <laughs> and let's meet the panel. <laughs> I'm Charles. Charlie. I'm Kayla. I'm Ari. And I'm Josh. And uh, this is the uh, sixth season finale. And I must say that uh, we have gone through 30 episodes, and I am incredibly impressed with how everybody did. I think that everybody did a magnificent job. Even I think me? that. Yep, yeah, even you. All uh, right. I think that I just think that this season, everything gelled. Uh, I think that the, uh, I think that the, the formatting uh -huh. really was successful. I think that. Uh, the attendance among participants was spot on. Logan and I it wasn't perfect, but it was it was as close as you can get to them. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we all have our own issues that come up. Yep, everybody has issues. It's just a matter of uh, being able to uh, address them uh, so in a you're, proper fashion. Dear, dear literary gladiators, we want to thank you to all of our panelists this season. All of the panelists, participants, and even the the viewers, too. Even hey, Trevor, our videographer. Trevor is, uh... <laughs> Trevor did an amazing job uh, in front of the camera as well, this year. Mm -hmm. And back in front, you have the camera, always and everyone. Front ways and back ways and slant ways and long ways oh, and sure. down ways and as, up ways. Okay, as you can see, uh, we are eating cheese again. I'm eating cheese and back For, uh, yeah. to close off season five, we discussed poetry. Give me cheese. Yeah. <laughs> over there. Hey, Mr. Ham. Oh, now I know Mr. Ham is back again. <laughs> but the cheeses that we have here are Dutch cheeses. Uh, we have different forms of Gouda. We have Edam. Um, yeah. And the work that we're going to be going over today is a Dutch fairy tale called The Boy Who Wanted More Cheese. So I have to admit, this is the funny. The, this story is the funniest thing I've read in a long time. <laughs> The people that participated in Misery thought that that was the funniest one uh, that they read, and uh, it is a Russian fairy tale, so it's something about multicultural fairy tales. Hey, it's Russian. I thought it was fast. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Already. The discussion starter I have for this one is a bit more simple. Do you feel that this fairy tale had an effective moral. Don't talk with your mouth full. Maybe that's not do that. Yes, <laughs> do, I think, do I think it had an impact, you said? Yeah, was it an impactful moral? Yeah. Define impactful. Do you think that the... or effective? Did it get to you? I mean, it got to me as like a as a funny story, not necessarily anything more than that. Yeah, and I mean, as much as I love eating, you can tell I have the just plate here. Anyone of us wants a little bit? It's just a regular noodle. Um, oil staff just don't eat like a pig, really. I mean, I mean, hey, I'm one to talk, but um, we put a bowl of food in my face, uh, a bowl of spaghetti and clam sauce in front of me, and I'll be on my face for clam sauce for dinner. Mm. But really, just and don't. usually it says hooray. Yes, it will usually say hooray. <laughs> or yay. I think that being a lover of cheese, and, uh, yeah. I feel that the idea of too much of anything is can be. You uh, say that like it's a bad thing. Bad. It is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I will tell. I you. think that. Uh, oh, okay. I think eating this much cheese, especially if I split it in half. It would be such a great experience. Uh, eating a whole wheel of it, it's going to make me feel uncomfortable. And also, <laughs> in about three or four hours, you're probably going to need some laxatives. No, you'll There's need that, but need just the whole... No, it's like you just the idea. Cheese. It's like, it tasted so good! Ah! <laughs> you just think about what it does. I'm, I'm not even going to get into detail, I'm because eating. if I get into deeper detail, I think I'm going to pass out or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't, but, don't do that. No, that's not a good idea. But I did want to say that the... Um, right while we're eating. I thought the best part of this story... This is what I initially thought as I was reading it. But then I realized it was a little bit different. It was like fairies and stuff. It was a little different. 
when I first saw there's a little girl who popped up and it's like, hey, do you want more cheese? And I heard about the lights like reflecting onto the roof. I genuinely thought that it was aliens. <laughs> and I was like, yes, there's gonna be aliens who's gonna give this guy like all these cheeses from like other worlds and stuff. And then it's just like berries. I'm like, eh, that's the next best thing. Yeah. But I was so, I was thinking it was gonna be aliens. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it would be aliens because I think Well, that... I didn't know what, de what decade it came from. This is, I think it's a classic fairy tale. This particular collection may be more, this may, this came out recently, but I think William Elliot Griffiths, uh, this particular story is in a collection of classic fairy tales, multicultural ones, too. Mm -hmm. So getting back to, sorry, not so getting back to what you were saying, does it do its job getting its point across? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it does, and it does it with a more humorous yeah. overtone than most fairy tales normally do. It's kind and of, it's a bit more happy. It's yeah. kind of like, yeah. if, like if you really, 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 really want something, you can have it. Mm. But just be, be careful of the consequences. And in mm -hmm. this case, it's just a very friendly way of putting it. Mm. But granted, like, this uh, cla uh, oh, that's Klaus... A, that's, a, that's an intricate... Uh, Klaus Bond I want to show that Bommel. illustration, but... This is the illustration in the book, and <laughs> it's actually really funny. Mm. He would get... These are actually really good water crackers. They would get a, uh, a slice of cheese for dinner with whatever else they were eating, and that was an... He wanted more. He wanted his siblings... He was the oldest, so it was his younger... No, I'm not. Smaller sister. I like how he was 12 and he was over 5 feet tall. That's huge for a 12 year old. I think he was overweight too. Yeah, he was. What are you saying? Like, I mean, like, like, I'm like 6 foot and you can't see the top of it, but 5 foot is about... I'm 5'1". Alright, so mm. this 12 year old was this height. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know what? I actually didn't think you were that uh, short. short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, she does look like she's about heels. a foot shorter than me. So. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just wearing sandals. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If you ask me what my weight is, I will punch you. I'm so, well, I will uh, punch you, but I will give you 240 more. pounds. Otherwise, uh, I would say my favorite right. part was the... <laughs> I really liked how funny. they incorporated all kind of uh, local cheese, uh, local types of cheese. It oh, wasn't yeah. just general. I liked the description. The, mm -hmm. It was the, mostly... Cheeses from that area. Yeah, the, uh, Dutch cheeses. The red balls from Edom. The pink and whoa, yellow... Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? Oh, boy. The red right, balls yeah. from Edom. <laughs> Edom cheese comes in red balls. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, if you say so. That's the, that's the rock. Look, look, I'm just trying to get a reaction out of Trevor. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The pink and yellow spears from Gouda. Actually, they call it howda, but everybody's called it gouda, especially here. The gray loaf-shaped ones from Leiden, and then uh, talks about uh, farm cheese, factory cheese, Alkmaar cheese, and then cheese from Lindbergh, which uh, genetic class actually couldn't bear Lindbergh uh, Lindberger cheese because of the. Really strong scent, and that's a gag with the Three Stooges. That's why it's called Limburger cheese. That was Mo's favorite fruit. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. I thought ketchup was. Anyway, I, was, I, 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 I Larry's favorite fruit was ketchup. Oh, that's right. I really like the ending to this story, but it turns out that all he was eating was grass. Basically, <laughs> what this guy was, this kid was basically like sleepwalking. A, a sleepwalking cow. Yeah. Mm. If you call me another name again, I'm sorry. I'm just very. Mm. Hey, moody right now. What I like about fairy tales is right. multicultural fairy tales is the reflection that it has on the society. country's culture. I said cheeses. I like to learn about other countries through their literature. And their food. I and mean, I think that this one does it perfectly. And, and yes. their wine. Yes. I mean, yes. wine's a good way. Yes. Depending on the kind. Yeah, I would say wine. Or I, had some, I, had some, I had some red wine earlier today when I was at my friend's for I had some wine. It's Russia, it's vodka. Well, it and Russia. beer. It just looked kind of alcohol. But like I had, I had some, I had some red wine. I usually don't drink red wine. I usually drink white wine. But I had some red wine earlier today for my uh, friend. My friend invited me over for Shabbos lunch. And God bless. 
I don't know what that is, but I have to have a good time. It is, we celebrate Shabbat by eating and drinking. What's Shabbat? I'm curious. Shabbat is the, uh, every Saturday in Judaism is a holiday called Shabbat. It's and like it's for a day of Sabbath rest. only. Oh, okay. so basically it's your day, so okay. yeah. it's my Sunday. So and then, you know. uh, well, anyway, I had, I had red wine today, and I thought it tasted really good. <laughs> and then I asked, what was it? And apparently it's Menachevitz. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I thought this was like some sort of international wine or something. Kind of like, but mm. wine, and, I and love going to wine and cheese fests. Mm. If any of you know of any wine and cheese fests that I don't know about, tell me. Join mm. my band and y'all. I, I like going to the cheese shop. Going to some food truck. Mm. There's, there's some good cheese places in Marlton too. Mm. I like going to the one over by me. I like, I like the experience of being able to try the cheese before you... I know what you're talking about. Can I, I tell you, Josh? Yeah, you got me a gift card. Josh, yeah, you yeah, might be really surprised at this, but do you want to know where I think has really good cheese? What's that? ShopRite. I, I think ShopRite say, has some that's good where cheese. The plat, that's where the board came from. Really? Thank you, ShopRite. It's good. I uh, paid them to make it for me. And, uh, when I was at school, I used to buy all these ridiculously expensive cheeses because I didn't have a budget at that point. Mm -hmm. Already then, uh... Do we have any final thoughts about this particular tale? If I it was funny. It was it was interesting. It was funny. Right. Full of wonder, excitement, and wonder. I I, I read right through it. It was just I did too. It was it, a it, very it, easy read. It was it, it's aimed. For, it was like a children's story almost. It, yeah. That's it comes from this particular book, Dutch Fairy Tales for Young Folks. Very Sorry, accessible. young folks. I didn't mean children. I meant young folks. Hmm. The cinematographer has a has a thought to incorporate in this. Yeah. Oh, oh right. what's his cinematographer? When I when I actually read through this one, I was almost half expecting a horror story type ending. Wow. <laughs> oh. you know, yeah. That would have been like the fairies turn out to be like cannibals or something. Well, no, more like uh, he, more like he, it was a dream, but he wasn't awake the next morning. Where it, were to, where it was to consume him, or oh, pretty much. You. Uh, sort of a tale from the dark side for the younger kids. Mm -hmm. And I think it I think it did a great job teaching a lesson without having Making to it grimmer or darker or anything. Without, yeah. uh, with being able to spare Klaus. So I think I was pleased with, and I think the lesson was impactful. I think it's just the idea of too much of anything isn't good and not to bite off more than you can chew. Especially if it's grass. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah. It was it was very very mm -hmm. definitely geared towards kids, but also exci exciting and fun for adults. I think that's successful children's literature is children's literature that everyone can enjoy. Yes, and it's also fun and learning. Mm -hmm. It's not like Arlene Sardine, which is no! children's literature that or nobody. Hide. Or, enjoy. or hide and sheep that Ar has terrible Ar illustrations. Arlene Sardine sounds rather fishy to me. Um, Ari, do the <laughs> cinematographer is up with his puns again. <laughs> Already then. Seven days with seven days without a pun makes one week. Already, everybody. Uh, nobody else wanted to add anything. Uh, I just wanted. To, I wanted to add a few. Okay. Yeah, totally. Two things. Uh, a. I get if if I was to rate it five stars, and I was yeah, hungry too. afterward. I was very hungry afterward. Yeah, me too. What? Wait. Well, I'm, I'm oh, three. I'm three. Yeah. Forty-two. Yeah. Eleven ninety-two. Yeah. Five stars. It was okay. It. It was That's a good. good. I I'd give it five stars as well. Mm -hmm. So who's a lone wolf, you Mister? Nobody's a lone wolf. I rated it. I said me three. I didn't say three stars. I thought you said three. Just three. I said it's fine. Yeah. A fairy tale. And also, lo lone and wolf does not apply yeah, to everything ladies. Josh likes and wants I know. To I'm sorry. My mistake. Well, <laughs> this really isn't Snapple today. Now I'm just getting it in. <laughs> Alrighty then. If you're interested in picking up Dutch fairy tales for young folks, here is a copy. Uh, there are multiple fairy tales that William Elliot Griffiths uh, put There's together. There's one about here. bread. There's one about cookies. I don't know about that. But I'm I know. When I was uh, going over the list with Dan, Dan asked me if I was William Elliot Griffiths. And Everything looks closer when you put crackers in your eyes. <laughs> well, I'm... What do you see? I see you, but you just look closer. 
like phys physically close. Hey, are you sure? <laughs> no, I can't do that on camera. Sorry. But <laughs> as I was saying, and there's a lady. Person. Dan asked me if I was William Elliot Griffiths, and for the record, I am not. <laughs> I'm Charlie. And I'm already then. Oh wait, no, you're <laughs> done. And you, I'm Archibald Herringbone. Are you, do you lose sense of who I you are? Stole, you I have stolen your identity. Your I have stolen your identity. All right. Already, That's sure, another reason I should be arrested. Be sure to join us next time for another episode of Literary Gladiators. I thank everyone for following along with the sixth season, and we will be back for a seventh season. Woo, we'll yeah. be recording in the winter when it's cold. Right. And We're probably... The episodes would probably have been recorded. Oh, For now, please. and as always, keep reading! Crackers! Keep reading, everyone. Bye. Enjoy.